All right, in this week's episode, you get to see me uh, do nothing. I starve the whole week, and I don't lose the amount of weight I wanted to lose. And uh, yeah, that's how that goes. So uh, tune in, watch that, and you'll get to see some of the uh, competitors' videos. Those are always fun. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Here we go. All right, guys, it's Tuesday, April 14th. So we weighed in this morning at 2.17. Uh, our goal for the end of the week, we want to be anywhere from, I'd say like 212. Like if we can get to 212, 213, around there, by Sunday. So that gives us, you know, whatever, six days, five days, however you want to look at it, to get that done. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Hey dog, you need to get on your diet. How are you feeling? How are you feeling today? Pretty good? Pretty good boy. Pretty good boy. Let's go. Come on, let's go. All right, it's Wednesday morning, and I am free from quarantine. Allowed to leave the house today. Gonna go get my truck insured. The powerful Miss Michaela Myers on her way to come and get me. Uh, she just bought a house today. Uh, convenient, she has a house now. Is that a booger? What is that? No, it's just my nose, maybe. I don't know. Convenient now that she has a house, uh, and it just got it the day that I get out of quarantine, so now I get to help her move. Sweet, hey? Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, yes, you too, little red. Oh, and a mugsy. And a mug. Okay, come on. We got first day out of quarantine, and we get to help Mrs. Meyer move her house. Yay! Red, who's a good boy? Who's a good baby boy? Red dog is. Yes, you are. Oh, raccoon came out of nowhere. Continuing <laughs> the feeding. This is weird, the cats don't go in the cave. What are you doing, buddy? What are you thinking about? Hey, what stocks are you looking at investing in right now? Hey, since the market collapsed, what do you feel is a good buy out there? All right, guys, today we are doing, uh, we just finished helping Miss Meyer. Now we're back at home and we're doing a podcast with none other than Brad Samatak. He's a really funny comedian out of Edmonton. Uh, we're going to try to do it on Zoom here, just using my laptop and uh, my old bedroom as a backdrop. See how this goes. Now all done that podcast with Brad. That'll be up tomorrow. By the time this video is out, it'll already be out. So don't even worry about it. Forget about that. You can watch it if you want. And uh, look at what I got. Da, 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 da. For me, a little package. What could it be? Expedited parcel. Look at that L'Oreal. What is it? Where is it here? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look at that. My barrier repairing lip balm. BB ordered me this all the way from Australia. What a sweetheart. Is this a good thing, you guys? Is this a good thing that she's ordering me lip balm? Is, it that, is that a good... I don't know. Let me know. All right, it's Thursday. Uh, day two out of quarantine. And now I get to see my niece and nephew. They're coming for a little, little slumber party. You're and I was like this. this. Get up off of this. Look, you've already knocked this all over the You're over. I was like this. Oh. They're running off the bull. Why were you bull running? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, that's not very social distance, is it? Well, you guys, you guys got to be within six feet of each other right there. I don't think so. All right, we've got Kamira. Kamira's using the table as leverage. She's now stroking her running leg and charge! Careful, you guys. Oh, goes for the headlock, the big takedown.
<laughs> We've got a classic standoff. You can see the Chimera revving her leg, getting ready. Well, you guys, I have made a huge error and I didn't check what the little guard thing was set out and I have now completely shaven off my beard. Now, I don't know how I feel about it. I guess I'm constantly experimenting, trying to figure out what looks best, you know? Short hair, long hair, big beard, no beard. Um, I don't know what looks best, but I know what looks worst. And that is, if you don't have a beard, you don't want to look confused. Because if you look confused, you do this. It's not a good look. You don't have a beard to cover up any of this. Terrible. I look like my father trying to take a selfie for his social media. <laughs> My dad is preparing for the apocalypse. Look at this. There goes the snowblower down the driveway to make room for the generator he just bought. All right, I just got my truck insured, so now I can get back on the road. And then we're one step closer, Pax, to what? To, um, um, uh. Think of something, what? Spaghetti noodles? Is that what you want? Because we can drive. We can get spaghetti noodles if you want. All right, Pax, let's blow this popsicle stand. All right, what? All right, Pax and I are taking this ute out. Do you know what a ute is, Pax? No. Nope. That's what they call these in Australia. Hey, cope it from the outside, bro. In Australia, they call a truck a ute. You know why? Why? They call it a utility vehicle. So this is a ute. Utility and then they, vehicle. And then they call a semi-truck a truck. It's pretty weird, hey? Mm-hmm. Now, why would, why would we call a semi-truck a semi-truck? We call a truck a truck and a semi-truck a semi-truck. Semi means half, which means only half truck. What's the other half? Transformer? Optimus Prime? What do you think? Uh, pure engine. Pure engine. Oh. All right, guys, we now got the hockey net. Time to go play some puck. All right, Pax, you're gonna now learn to play hockey the same way I learned. Playing uphill in this very driveway. Alright. Alright, let's see. Pax, right back where it was. Go get it now. Look what you've done. Right off the dinger. You already put it right in there. Oh boy. Probably not getting that back. Oh, well, we'll get it back. You wide open? Ready in the slot? Oh, get there! Rip it, quick, before the goalie's back in. Go! Pax, let's go! Get back door, stick on the ice, in the net. That's five. Oh, I'll block it again. All right, your ball. You gotta take it out past that line. The crowd goes wild! Well, we had our most successful weigh-in yet. I think it's because me and Pax yesterday burned all those calories playing hockey. We did it 215 pounds today, Pax. That's my lowest yet. Pretty good, hey? Would you weigh in at today? You weigh yourself? Nope. Well, how do you know what you weigh then? Kids these days, am I right? This week has been pretty slow for content. I have been doing a whole lot. I've been really tired this week because I'm basically starving myself to try and win this weight loss competition. It's ridiculous. I started intermittent fasting. So now I'm only eating between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And uh, I'm eating nothing fun. Like I am so miserable. I am just low energy. I'm tired every day. I'm just trying to get through the day so I can be a little lighter on the scale the next day. I figure if I just do this for three months, I can get down to my to my stomping weight and then we'll be good from there. Something I have started doing was uh, the old TikTok. I just started posting on TikTok. Uh, it's actually been really good. It uh, getting quite a bit of traction there. Um, just posting like stupid deadpan jokes. Cause every morning, I guess that's something I could show you guys while I'm sitting here. Every morning, my regular routine is I wake up and I write for half an hour first thing in the morning right off the top. Um, and I usually try to come up with, you know, 
one to five dumb jokes every day and they're just, they're just so stupid i never really share them with anyone but tiktok seems to be the perfect format for sharing these jokes so i figured i'd just start throwing them out there and uh yeah it's going pretty good so far and we'll see maybe i can get get a good tiktok following and then i can try to turn that into my instagram and youtube following then maybe people will watch these goddamn videos you know all right, you guys, here's this week's competitor videos. Uh, these will be on Facebook on Wednesday. You guys go there. There's a poll. Vote. Winner gets something free out of my store. Hey, everybody. 8 a.m. I'm usually a very, very lazy morning person. Uh, so I'm trying just to get this done. I'm going to do a little bit of a treadmill workout. Maybe just kind of go for 20 minutes. See what uh, my other buddy over here Let's me get done. He's just hanging out. <laughs> so let's get to it. See what happens. Hey guys, uh, week two started. So I think I have to step up my workout game. Got some uh, weights here that I'm gonna put on my ankles so I can walk around the house and maybe get some nice toned legs. So we're gonna start with this uh, 70 pound weight right here. And Put him down right here and strap him on here. Oh, yep. Yep, there we go. Okay, now we're going to take this 45 pound weight right here and strap, strap her on. Okay. Strap this uh, 45 pounder on here. Perfect. There we go. Oh, and then we've got this 35 pounder. Okay. Yeah, I've got to strap this 35 pounder on. Oh, we'll just uh, maybe put this one right here. Oh, there we go. I think that's enough weight today. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Guys, don't look at my super isolation look. See? Feed me tacos and tell me I'm beautiful. Perfect shirt for a workout. So I'm just about to have my, um, how is it called? Oxy Shred. To have a flutter tummy and a loose weight, apparently. I haven't really, I've tried it a couple of times, but I haven't been intensive on that product, so I don't really know. But anyway, maybe some of you knows it. It's from the States, but we got it here as well in Australia. Anyway, don't look at my dishes as well. Kids just left. Anyway, so I'm about to have that, and then I'm gonna do, if you guys wanna try it, she's on Facebook. Her name is Mercedes Michaels. I'll show you a page. And well, basically, so her name is Mercedes Michael. She's one of my friends, but every day she does this at 10 30 a.m. our time in Perth, which means would probably be for you guys on the west coast of Canada. Mm, I think it might be 7 30 p.m. But anyway, I'm sure I'll explain to you. So she does this mini mind body reset, it's a half an hour thing. It's um, body workout, yoga, and stretch. But here it is. That's a page. Um, if you guys are interested, I can put it into the group. But anyway, that's what I'm about to do. And then I'll be doing a bit of musculation after. And I use P90X. I don't know if you guys ever heard of P90X, but I use their DVD and they're pretty cool. So that's my day. And I'll send you some video of me working out, looking silly. Have fun. So I'm just um, inviting you in my dinner. So today I cooked some rice. We got some tomato. I've got some chili from my garden. Fresh chili. And then I've got some beans and some broccoli. I'm going to toss it all in. I'm going to put some garlic as well. And a bit of a homemade um, rosé sauce just for the taste. But not too much, you know. Trying to be healthy. So here we have the final result. I'm just going to put a bit of old cheddar cheese on top because I love cheese but I'm trying to be reasonable because it goes all in the tummy fat and yeah anyway so that's my little healthy bowl but I'm not gonna lie to you guys 
I had a shitty day, so I'm gonna spoil myself to one glass of wine. I promise, whoops, promise just one. So, bit of salt and pepper, and then we'll be good to go. Bon appetit! What are you doing, Nathan? Running. Why? So I can get stronger. Nice. Bit of a late start today, but we're getting her in. Well, it's Saturday morning, April 18th, and I'm telling you guys, it's working, okay? I'm losing weight. I'm down to 215. I hope all my competitors are out there working as hard as I am. And I found, I'm not really working that hard. I'm just starving myself every day. I'm miserable. Just don't eat. Just don't do it. I'm only eating between 10 and 6 now. And even then, I'm not eating very much. Just very little. Eat the least you can, you know? That's the trick. Here we go. Big day today. Oh. Well, our week one competitor video was won by Amanda Smoes for doing her workout with her kids. So she wins herself a free t-shirt out of the online store. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone else steps their game up and we'll see what we get next week. I guess this week. All right, today's motivation is coming from the man, Jocko Willick. So here we go. Get us amped up for our workout sesh today. Something is wrong and going bad, you always just look at me and say, good. Good. And I said, well, yeah. When things are going bad, there's gonna be some good that's gonna come from it. Remember that. If you're in a bad spot, that's a good place to be. Didn't get the new high-speed gear we wanted? Good. Good. Didn't get promoted. Good. Good. More time to get better. Oh, mission got canceled? Good. We can focus on another one. Didn't get funded. <laughs> Didn't get the job you wanted. Got injured. Everything in your life fell apart because of a global pandemic? Good. Good. Can no longer go outside and see any of your friends? Good. Everything's good. Came home early from work to find your wife cheating on you? Good. Good. Time to get a new wife. Got booed off a of stage at your last comedy show? Good. Nobody likes you. Good. Gained 50 pounds and now you, you can't go up a flight of stairs? Good. That's a good thing. You ate too much sugar as a kid and now you got a type 2 diabetes disorder and you can't maintain your insulin levels. Good. That's good. Decided to play video games instead of working out to lose weight? Good. Good. Decided to order skip the dishes instead of uh, going and making your own food? Good. Here we're All right, order placed. Just gotta wait for it to show up now. All right, my skip the dishes order is on its way. Oh, order's here. Oh, my skip the dishes, perfect. Yes. Thank you, I'll give you a four star review. Oh, it was thanks. a little slow, so. Thank you, well, I did the best uh, you I could You did have a lot of travel time, so. That's right, it's down the hall around the corner. Yeah, did you bring cutlery? I didn't even get a knife, so. I don't need a knife, I'm just kidding, okay. See you later, no tip, no tip. All right, guys, we're, we're getting after it now. Here we go. Time to do it. I found something that really helps is putting on a good tune, getting a good pump up song going. <clears throat> I'm not actually playing any music because I'm not allowed. Otherwise, I couldn't put it on the internet because I don't have like the copyrights and stuff. But, um, but yeah, put on, put on a good tune if you're going to work out. That's a free tip for later. Well, that wraps up the workout, guys. Hope, hope you're working hard out there. And if not, good. That's good. Meditation in the books is pretty good. Um, started meditating a lot again because, uh, again, now that I'm in a relationship, a lot of emotions and feelings that I haven't dealt with in a long time are coming up. Um, jealousy is one that, I don't know, man. I feel like I have a good grasp on it. But then all of a sudden, there's times where 
I could tell it's getting better in me. And it's such a dumb emotion. Like, I know jealousy serves no purpose. Like, it doesn't do any good. And I know I shouldn't feel yeah. jealous, but I still do. Like, my girlfriend will mention some other dude. She's like, oh, yeah, this really funny guy today. And you're like, what do you mean funny guy? I'm the funny guy around here. <laughs> Immediately get defensive. I'm like, this story sucks. I don't want to hear this story anymore. And it's like, you know, those things where it's like, just because if someone else funny doesn't mean you're not funny. Someone else, you know, it's like the thing, what do they say? Calling someone else fat doesn't make you thin. I don't know if that really applies to jealousy or just a good thing. But yeah, it's something I feel that I constantly have to work on. But I typically wouldn't consider myself a jealous person, but clearly I have those things. But I think everyone does. I think if people are honest with themselves, you look and you're like, yeah, like it's very easy to compare yourself to someone else, um, which isn't a good thing to do. Comparing yourself to other people never makes you feel good. Instead, compare yourself to like, like dogs, because like dogs are idiots, right? I mean, some people are like, oh, actually dogs are really smart. <laughs> Compared to what, a dog? As your kid, he'd be a moron. You have to tell him to sit ten times, quit pissing in the house. Anyway. Working on the old jealousy. It's feeling better. I feel good. I'm pretty feeling pretty good about the whole thing. Yeah. Alright. That, uh, that's it for this meditation. Another thing I just started getting into is TikTok. Started doing those like a week ago. And I managed to get one to stick that people liked. Um, I've done like, what are these, like six. I've done eight TikToks. One of them, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. But we've got her at like 80, 82,000 views so far. Pretty good. Uh, considering all my other ones are about 300. And this thing just keeps going off. It's got almost 5,000 likes. So maybe onto something with TikTok. It seems like a great format to like pump out just those dumb jokes that I'm writing every day. I try to write a couple dumb jokes every day and this seems like a good outlet for them. So I'm gonna keep doing this. Hopefully I can get uh, a following on there and then maybe swing them over to YouTube to get them to watch these videos, you know? Never know. Anyway, hope you're doing good out there. Well, I did weigh-ins this morning. <clears throat> Weighed in, uh, went in at 2.15, people. I was pretty good. Not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be around 2.12, 2.13 after week two. Um, probably noticed this vlog content is slowing down a lot. I am so tired. I am not, uh, whew, I just gotta starve myself for three more months. Cause now I've made a bet with my buddy Riley that I could get abs by July 1st. And I'm going to need to lose like 40 pounds to do that. So, wish me luck. Another day. Woo! All right, this is my first time going into a Canadian grocery store since lockdown. Do you think I can bring the camera in? Or do you think this is that's a bad move? Maybe I'll leave the camera in the car. Yeah, good idea. All right, now that I'm failing in my challenge, I'm not losing the weight I want. I decided to step my game up. So hope you guys are doing that too out there. We got burner, after burner, regular burner. Look, at I'm gonna look like that guy next weekend. All right. I got my Hydra Shred. I got my main brain. Two water bottles so I can drink twice as much water. Check out. Good luck keeping up. I mean, like, get in, get in or get out the way. Like they say, it in or in the way. All right, you guys, I am starving. I just did the uh, the math. It turns out I'm eating like, like 1,100 calories a day. I thought I was eating more than that. Uh, it's not very many at all. But I, uh, I'm having pizza tonight for a little treat. So I've ate... 400 calories today and then I'm gonna have pizza for dinner yeah hopefully this works out I am so low in it look at me I can't even do anything 
Here's this week's leaderboard. Uh, pretty questionable. I mean, it's good. A lot of people look like they're going the right way now. They've got the message that it's flat in the curve, not fat in the curve. Uh, pretty happy. Everyone's doing their darndest. Proud all of them. Uh, Isabel's is a little questionable. Um, the number she reported, she reported a 15% loss in body weight in one week. A little tough to believe. Uh, Isabel, what's the secret? Or maybe she actually did the thing that I did in the video where I weighed myself with all that stuff on and then weighed myself after. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, Isabel is the leader by a long shot. If this keeps up, um, pray for Isabel. Because she is going to not be with us much longer.